All right, guys, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We just uh, woke up from some sleep here. Hey, wait, you're not Teresa. <laughs> um, but we're going to eat some food and be fully healed. Ready to go. Our armor's still in pretty good condition. So we're going to make our way and be right where we left off. We're going to go after a bandit camp that's actually really close to Neu Neuhof. Um, but yeah, let's let's jump in and do it. Let's jump in and do it. I think what I'll do here is also learn how to read. So we'll, we'll travel to uh, Yushitz um, as soon as we can. So let's just get going. It's early in the morning. We got the whole day ahead of us. I do appreciate you guys coming out and watching this uh, this campaign or this. I mean, it's not really a campaign, I guess. It's I appreciate you guys coming out and watching this RPG story. You know, it's been a lot of fun. Oh, we're getting ambushed. This is a great way to start the, here, right? the episode. My road. Oh, it's your road, huh? Are you sure, buddy? Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, I think we're getting attacked from behind. I'm going to enjoy. Whoa, that's a lot of peasants. Okay, you're done. You're done. You sure you want to do this? This is your last chance. Yeah, okay. Well, that was fun. Do you guys have any ears that I could... I mean, like, I could. Uh, you're still alive? I'll let you bleed out. Alright, so he's got Bard Potion. Hair of the Dog Potion. I guess that helps you from... Um... Hangovers? I guess we'll get this stuff, because why not? Uh, you know, I think I forgot to... Oh, Groshen, nice. I think I forgot to put... Um, yeah, take the bandage. My extra armor away into into the chest that Teresa's. She's got some beer. Slippers. Dude, you guys have nothing. But you, you did give me some experience. He's got some axes here. Okay. Well, that was fun. Let's just... Oh, you know what? We're really close to the camp. We might as well just go on foot from here. Here, we'll take this off. Man, we're looking so epic. All the chain mail. You hear all that, all that chain mail? Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Alright, this is where the camp is. Somewhere in here. I assume it's up here. Hello? I've been sent here to destroy you. Alright, we gotta be close to the end. Uh, maybe it's further down this way. Oh, here it is. Here's the camp. What the hell was that? I don't know. I'm gonna enjoy this. I gotta remember my combos. Raise you up, watch out! Come here, oh, hey, that guy's pretty you decked out. Get over here! Oh, get over here. Oh, oh, come on! Did that hurt? Uh, that was that was an attack move right there. You get what's coming. Oh. Right, you're dead. Okay. That's rude. I definitely got to try to stab this guy. I'm not giving up. These bandits are... It's like I gotta kill his minions. Come on, dude. Can't land a hit on this guy. I gotta keep him between me and the archer. Yeah. 
nice combos. Sure you want to laugh, buddy? Oh, this is epic, dude. I like not having a shield. This makes me feel more epic. Curse it! Missed! <laughs> Missed! Yeah, you don't say. God, the epic fight here. Mud, are you okay? There we go. Good hit. Oh, oh, I gotta be careful. I can't let him land strikes like that. Mutt! Stay away from this fight. Oh. He turned his back on me. Fucking hell. Dude, you're telling me, dude. Go down. There we go. I mean, it does improve. Trying to faint him. There we go. Strength went up. Again. This might be frustrating to watch. No, no. No. Oh, God. He's low. Nice. Need more hits like that. He's low. Yes. All right. Where's your stupid archer? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Come here, buddy. Oh, you're surrendering? I don't think so, bro. Woo! Okay. That was a hell of a fight. But we are victorious. Rightfully so. Um, remember, 150 or higher, I'm not going to take it. Go, let's go ahead and lift the shield here. Uh, the bandit uh, leader leader is going to have some good stuff on him. Uh, the only thing here is that he... <sighs> he died on a hill. Oh, my God. His body slid down. Okay, thank God for the, uh, the little uh, compass directional thing leading me the right way. Look at this. This is a cool helmet. I'll take that. I'll be taking that from you. I'll be taking that from you. Take that from you. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. I do appreciate your service. Your business here today. Um, let's go to our inventory and we are going to move this stuff. So we'll move this to the horse, move this to the horse. And just like that, we have plenty of base. There we go. All right. So we're going to wait here an hour and wait for just to see if there's like other bandits that will show up here yep sure enough there is all right we destroyed the camp the pig turns up willingly for the oh what Ah! Ah! 
Who's the pig now? All right. Give me your ears. Give me your groshin. There we go. Yeah, the the sidekicks here usually don't have that much stuff. I mean, they've got some good amount of groshin. But yeah, everything else here is not worth it. We got their ears, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep. Okay. Um, so mission accomplished. Did we I don't think we ever searched this guy. Yeah, we did not. Oh, 50 groshin. Uh, okay, we'll take the kettle hat. It's over 150. Okay, cool. So that's done. We took a little bit of damage there. It's starting to get a little bit more challenging, you know? Um, but we'll travel back and we will sell the items there. And the great thing about this, not only are we making good money, but we're also earning the respect of Bernard, uh, which is perfect. So, I think we're we're doing pretty well here in terms of side quest stuff. I mean, we haven't done a ton of side quests, but we're doing a lot of little missions here and there, um, which is good. I think I'm going to go ahead and um, continue a little bit of this storyline, uh, the main storyline, and talk to Radzag. Rad Radzig. Radzag. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. He's, he's, he's glad to see me. We're taking care of the cunt. Where's the proof? Here it is. Good work. Yes. And that's not all. There's some trouble on the road to Sassau. There's most likely another camp thereabouts. Understood. Take care. That's right. I was going to learn how to read, too. We have some, uh... Let's see. All right, a collection. See you later. All right, 175 groschen. Nice. Okay. We're making fat stacks. So there's another camp over here. We're not going to deal with that. Um, new DLC quest. We want to learn how to read. So I'm going to go into Townburg and sleep. So let's go ahead and travel there. So we'll go over there. Um, we could <clears throat> we could also sell some stuff while we're there. Um, get some food. Uh, and then eventually sleep. We're going to learn. Oh, we got a situation here. What is it? A skirmish. You suddenly find yourself in the middle of a skirmish. It's too late to think about how you got into this mess. Okay. Well, human scum. Come here. Wait. Thought I was on you. Come on. I would love someone to mod in the Oblivion, like, audio. Why won't you die? There you go. Oh, more? What, am I just killing everyone here? I thought I was ta- I thought I was helping- Jesus Christ, have mercy on me! I surrender, can't you see? Yeah, I'll let you surrender. You probably got nothing on you. This guy, though? Wow, okay. What were you? You were a bandit. The guards are dead. That's tragic. Was this a bandit? It was one guard? Oh, no, this is a guard. Well, we might as well loot him. Alright, well, he won't- look. I will not bother his other equipment and stuff. I'll take the bandages. But everything else, you know, I'll leave. I, I, know, I know looting is not necessarily an honorable thing, but what is he going to do with the groschen? You know, he doesn't need it anymore. So I might as well take it off his hands. and I'll leave the rest of his stuff here, you know? Like, I'll respect his remains. And that's a... Mm, I could take that helmet. It's worth a pretty penny. All right, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I mean, we wouldn't want this bacon to go to waste, would we now? I mean, we might as well take the salami and the bacon. I mean, the pig, I mean, feel you got to feel bad for the pig who was slaughtered, you know. You can't have him slaughtered for nothing. All right, get the lockpick. Okay. All right. So I think the one guy we killed is going to have the best stuff. Well, the humans should have some good stuff. Yeah, you got some groshin on you. I'll take that. Um, ooh. Ooh. Nice armor here. Give, give me the salami. 
And remember, guys, I can eat this stuff even if it goes bad. Am I forgetting anything else? I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. It's worth a, a lot, so... Okay. Remember, 150 or more. And then we killed the other guy here. Which, unfortunately, we can't get any of their ears. Alright. Anything good here? That's that's it. Wait, 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 wait. Did I see 194? Yeah. I'll take that. Okay. GG. Alright, let's take these um, this armor here. And we'll start moving it. Is this better? No. Moving it over to the horse. Hopefully the horse has enough. Why is this considered stolen? Whatever. Okay. So let's go back to fast traveling. Because we're not quite there yet. Oof, what a good fight. What a weird skirmish. Interaction. Oh, an ambush. Okay. Fucking come on then! What do we got here? What do we got? You got the best. But yeah, are you sure? <laughs> Is that all? Did I hit Mutt? <sighs> Thanks for leveling me up. Man, it's it's tough to travel in the medieval world, you know? I don't think there's going to be much here. I'm just going to take their groschen. I'll let you die out slowly, you scum. Uh, well, somebody has to die here. <laughs> it's a mercy kill. I'm doing it mercifully. Alright, just take their peasant money. Wait, is there someone here? No. Okay, I got like the little swords on the upper compass there saying like there was another enemy all right good boy mutt come here where are you mutt here you are let me praise him good fella that's boy. my boy let's make sure he's okay all right and then we keep going to townburg yeah, when I go back to Townburg, they're gonna be like, Henry, <laughs> you cold killer. <laughs> you crazy boy. Oh, I'm getting hungry. That's right, we're gonna we're gonna stop here, we're gonna sell some stuff. Gonna be good. Gonna be good. So I don't know if this trader's gonna have much here. I hope I can be of help to you. Yeah, you come can we trade? trade? It's me, Henry. Henry? Got the coin. Take care now. Okay. Um, armor. This is all the armor we're wearing. We have a bunch of armor in the horse's inventory. Uh, I guess what we can do is sell this. How much gold does he have? Oh, he has got 46 gold. We can't sell anything to this guy. Yeah, see, that's that's too much. So we'll just sell this. It's <laughs> can we do something about the naturally? It's not much. See now. Okay. Ooh, we leveled up from that. Hell yeah! All right, see what do we got here? Wow, we got a lot. Let's see, scholar. Your mandatory reading level increased by three, but your strength and warfare... No! You're handsome and charismatic, but you haven't built up your strength. No. Can't be combined. See, juggler, you've been exponentially su supple and agile since childhood. And all these come with penalties. Your favorite dip uh, diplomacy over brute force. Get a plus two speech bonus, minus two strength. Is there anything that increases our strength? You prefer to remain in the shadows, brute. You favor brute strength to a pleasant demeanor. Yeah, I do. I do, though. You get a plus two strength bonus, but a minus one penalty to charisma and speech. You renegade. Uh, let's just do brute. I don't really care. 
about the other stuff. My strength is 11, guys. Woof! Wow, wow, wee wow. All right. Hey, wait a moment. Yes. You're the young fellow who came here from Scarlet, half dead, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. Not be me. Why? The lady of the castle was asking after you. She wants to talk to you. Ah, I'll go and see her then. Thank you. Very well. Don't make her wait. Good luck to you. Oh my god, dude, this. This lady, you know? I feel quite hungry. Alright, hold on. Let me eat something really quick. I'm just gonna go into the kitchen. This lady's always just making the same meal over here. Okay, let me... Let me, uh... Wash up here a little bit. You know what? I'll just take my helmet off. There we go. Alright, let's... The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? Uh, I heard you wanted to speak to me. I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My penis? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, and you're going to find them for me. My lady, why me? <sighs> Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but he doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. Why do you and think I have taste? I've been told no task is too challenging for you. Is that not true? Dude, she's so nasty. I feel bad for her. Um, it'll be my honor. It will be my honor, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sasau for Sophie, wine from a merchant in Ratai, and a roan from the stable in Ujis. Where am I to find the wine? Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Here you go. You drunk? That should be enough. And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sassau make it, but now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Jeronim Slesky and pick it up. Okay. You said uh, a roan from Ujits. A roan. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. But you, so young and vigorous. Okay. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine? Didn't I already ask? From Conrad Hagen in Ratta. And yeah. believe. Okay, we already. Okay. Wine? A road? Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. Take care. Alright. Now it's time for me to get some sleep. Um, yeah, we can save it here too. So. We'll get some sleep, we'll rest up, we'll get fully healed. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. That's not... I didn't... I didn't mean to go to sleep yet. Yeah, there's really no one to sell here in Talmberg. Um, can we wait? Let's just... Oh, jeez. I keep misclicking, man. I just want to wait a little longer so we can, like, wake up in the morning. That should be good enough. I know, this is riveting gameplay. Riveting. Alright. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So we'll heal up. Energy will go up. And then we gotta get some food, obviously, when we wake up. What's Teresa's doing now? I could stop by and see her again. Dude, you're sleeping, Henry. You're sleeping. That's my true love, Teresa. I remember the first time I played this, I slept with everyone. This time, I'm staying loyal to Teresa. Okay. We're up. It's probably still pretty dark out. Oh no, the light's out. Nice, beautiful. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and put this back on and this back on. Nice, well done. Um, so, 
Let's eat some food because we are hungry. We got some bacon. Nice. Um, have some dried meat. There we go. 100. Perfect. We are full. We're healed. Mutt, buddy, let's go ahead and feed you. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Give him some dried meat. There you go, buddy. Eat up. So, uh, we have a bunch of stuff we have to pick up. Right? Quest giver. There's some quest givers here. Okay. Let's go to our log here. Quest log. Courtship. At your service. Buy wine. Rate. You can only... You can only track three side quests. Okay. Alright, well, let's do the... Let's... Mm, okay. Let's do the scribe thing. We need to go here and, um... We'll go to Ushits, do the scribe. I think there's something we're supposed to pick up at Ushits as well. Oh. We definitely gotta use our horse here. Alright. And we're gonna follow the red. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. And we have to travel there. We don't have a fast travel, unfortunately. So this is this is gonna be a uh, a new location for us in this playthrough quite exciting maybe we'll come across some bandits it looks like there's something in the road here no okay it's not because usually what they do is they'll block the road with like a tree or something um, what happened here this is just okay I mean I'm just gonna Go a little yeah. off-road here. Go directly. Right? The fastest way to a... You know, from point A to point B is uh, a straight line. As they would say. Oh. What do we got over here? Is this a bandit camp? I'm gonna avoid that for now. Just in case, because that looks yeah. kind of challenging to deal with. I don't know what that is. Then we got a burnt up house over here. Interesting. Yeah. Where am I exactly? Yeah, that must be some sort of... I don't think that's a bandit camp. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it right now. We're just gonna keep traveling here. There we go. We've discovered it. Nice. Let's get on the road. So we're looking to read here. Can anybody teach me to read? Because I did not learn how to read the first time. Fast travel point discovered. Excellent. Oh, I know where we are. I recognize that church. <laughs> So beautiful with those bells ringing. Love it. Yes, hello. Are you the scribe? Hello there. You're sleeping. Wake up. God be with you. I'd like to learn how to, read. to learn to read. At this time of day, are you right in the head? Come back tomorrow morning. Okay. I will. Hey, what? What? <sighs> what are you doing? I've come to ask if you'd be willing. Why? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> okay. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time. At okay. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. 
I will require some groshing from you though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. Yes, um, 50 groshin, okay. Here are your groshin. Roshin, groshin. Then we may as well start. Yes, teach me how to read, daddy. He did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. <laughs> He's still in his pajamas. So, let's see you read a bit. Nice! On the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. All right. One day, a countryman going to the nest of his goose found her found there an egg all yellow and glittering. It's kind of cool how they do this. When ye look it up, it was as heavy as lead, and he was going to throw it away. Because he thought a trick had been played upon him, uh, but he took it, uh, took him on, wait, it took, wait, what? But he took it, <laughs> Mutt, you're not helping right now, on it. A second thought. He, t he, he took a second thought. Thoughts and found to his delight that it was an egg of pure gold. Every morning, the same thing occurred, and he soon became rich by selling his eggs. As he grew rich, he grew greedy, and thinking, t and thinking to get at once all the gold the goose could give, he killed it and opened it only to find nothing. What an idiot. What an idiot. Just an absolute idiot. Okay. <sighs> the old... Oh, you went back to sleep. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? Um, there's something about some fellow and a goose. I need to read it again. That being greedy doesn't pay. That being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. <laughs> you're a clever lad. You'll manage. Okay, please don't go back to sleep. I hate waking you up. Uh, this is the goose, the goose book. Ah, here's the Latin book. Oh, jeez. Uh, read the Latin text. Eulnilis est ibre tam masu ut non. I I don't know Latin at all. Alqua. A parte prosit labre multi amongst tribes nut pomatismus rator est quae pascus verbis plant merit visit. You get that, guys? You get that? Okay. Well, I don't know what he's gonna ask us here, but where'd he go? Where'd, where'd he go? Hey. Where did you go? Oh, oh. What was that? <sighs> Crap. Come on, I need to find him. Oh, he must have put clothes on. He must have put clothes on. Here he is. <laughs> no, that's the bailiff. That's the villager. Wait, what? 
What happened? Because it's going to be like fresh in my mind here. Let me just wait an hour. Whoa. No. Wait an hour. See if he comes back. Because I'm not going to run around town looking for him. I don't know the kind of questions they're going to ask here. Villager. What are you outside? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? Um. Nolis is libertam. Oh, Jesus. I think it's this one. Nolis est libertam malus. Non aliquid parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Oh, I got it. Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. Reading! Yes! Okay, so we... I guess that's it. I thought this was going to be like a multi practice thing um but we have some books here that we can read uh let's go to our player um skills here reading in the flow let's see what we got here when reading you will get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal you'll get hungry okay colleague all books are cheaper in shops um when reading you'll get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal I mean, that, I guess I'll go for the cheaper books. I mean, hunger is not an issue. <laughs> That's cool. Um, so we've learned to read. I don't, that quest is familiar, but I don't remember doing it. Or at least, I think I failed it. Oops. I'm not looking at that. I want to read Marathon. <laughs> When you can't go on anymore, push yourself harder. That what could happen? In the worst case scenario, you'll die at the finish line. You haven't reached the skill level needed to be able to use this book. Ah. See, there is a catch. You discovered a new recipe. It's better to speak with a wise man about something foolish than with a foolish man about something wise. That is, if you are an idiot, stick with what you know. Ah, not a high enough level. Uh, does it say we gotta be level three, I assume? That's what that means, we gotta be level four to read that. So what exactly is our reading skill? <clears throat> I guess we have to get a bunch of, oh, our sword leveled up, oops. Uh, we got some new moves here. I should really memorize these, slash, 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 slash. Is there anything like slash slash stab stab? That's easy to, easy to remember. Yeah, let's learn that. Slash slash stab stab. Okay, cool. So that's gonna be easy. Um, I guess we can go and try to buy some books that are like lower levels. Let's see our skills with reading. We're level three. Ah, we're very close, very close. Okay, so if we can find like a level two book see we can go to a trader grocer uh, let's go to this trader where is he he's over here we'll go to the trader and see if he has any books you know we can learn to read dang it he's over here hello sir do you have one that a knight as a you takes an interest in me yes Talk trade. God be with you. Do you have any books? Ah, here we go. Hercules diet. And we'll actually take this too so we can prepare our stuff. 400. Actually, we'll take this shovel too. Oh, a tailor's kit too? Hell yeah. It's going to be expensive, but that's all right. Um, we can try to haggle here a little bit. <coughs> I'd I like just discussed the price. I like getting those repair kits because it's going to help us improve, obviously, repairing. 
Dude, 460. What about this? Come now, just... 480. Finally. Okay, that's a big chunk of money, honestly. But let's read our book. This should uh, help us with... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I guess we'll just learn. How long does it take? Do, like, how many hours do you have to spend reading? Right at noon. Our strength improved. Nice. I thought that was going to help like something with nutrition, but that helped with strength. Cool. And we also leveled up with reading. This is fun. Our reading's now level four. What the? Let's go ahead and read some more. I mean, why not? Let's see. Uh, yeah. Study it. Five more hours. We might as well. I mean, is there a limit? Oh, progress. I see. The progress is there. I was wondering, is like, how much do we have to read here? All right, so we're more than halfway through the book. Strength has improved. Oh my god, dude. Reading is OP. It really is, like, in real life, too, you know? <laughs> like, but Marcus Aurelius, um, the one of the uh, Stoic, or the Stoic Emperor of Rome, um, like, he's a philosopher emperor. He talked about how reading makes you feel less alone because, you know, as an emperor, he, there was no one alive where he could talk to, you know, to get advice from. He felt alone, but when he read... Um, documents and papers and stuff from other emperors he didn't feel alone he felt like he had a buddy in the world so there you go that's pretty cool that's pretty cool let's keep reading this i mean this is just easy can't focus on reading anymore you've read enough today oh i feel that that happens to me in real life too okay what are we doing here uh we want to get some wine right i think that was the plan so let's go ahead and activate. I think the the quest log has been activated, right? There we go. Yeah, it's now red. We have to collect. Oh man, this guy's kind of far. Yeah. All right, that's okay. We'll have pebbles here. Pebbles. So we'll do this little mission here for the Lady of Talmberg. Don't worry, I won't get into her pants. I am loyal to Teresa, which by the way, we need to go see Teresa here soon. We might do that too. So this is just a day of being Henry the White Knight, you know? Oh, good old Henry. So I see now how that perk of getting less hungry while you're reading and less tired while you're reading is pretty important, actually. So hopefully we can get that next. All right here. All right here. Wait. No, oh, it's further up. All right? Are we close? Okay, we are close. I was like, oh god, do we still have to run a, a great distance? Horse trader, nice. Uh, yes, sir. Jesus Christ be praised. Looking for a horse. I'm looking for the local groom. Uh, I'm looking for the local groom. Well, you find him. What can I do for you? The lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well, Chamberlain Dietrich said someone would come. We have him here, but if he's ready, I can't say. That miserable horse will let you saddle him 
and walk him around the courtyard. But as soon as someone sits on him, he goes completely wild. Uh, I can handle I'll that. I'll handle it. If you think so. Good luck to you. All right, so we got to tame the beast. Tame him. Where, where is he? Over here. The so sea. Yeah. Whoa. Easy now. Easy now. Is that the horse? He's freaking out. Look at him. <laughs> uh, Mutt got in his way and the horse was like, I don't know what to do. All right, so here's the horse. Oh, it's a beautiful horse. Not as beautiful as Pebbles. You hear that, Pebbles? All right. Inspect the horse. Oh, speed is much faster. Holy crap. Courage. Wow. All right. Let's mount up. All right. I'm follow me, Pebbles. I'm not cheating on you, okay? I I might get a new horse from Pebbles just for the sake of doing something different. All right, so we need to go to Townburg. Can we fast travel? <laughs> okay, I think that's all. What? I think that's all we have to do. Like, we just, us. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think we can fast travel. I think that's the only thing that is preventing us. It's just an inconvenience, that's all. Maybe this will help with our horse skill. Alright, come on, buddy. Yeah! No fast travel for you. Huh. Well, what's the, what's the catch here? Is he just going to run back over the same area every time? I don't remember doing this. Maybe our horse riding skill isn't uh, good enough? That might be the case. If that's the case, then we're in trouble. Maybe we have to walk him? Alright, calm down, Henry. Yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Hold on, let me look. I think, hold on. I Let me talk to this guy again. Damn horse. It's like the horse, it's run, it's ran off. You're gonna make me lose a lot of money. All right, come on, where, where are you? Where are you? Where do you go? So of course, when I need to talk to him. Oh, here he is. Hey, can you give me some advice about this damn horse? Uh, I don't think I'll be able to handle that horse. So, uh... So I don't think I can handle that horse. Ha! <laughs> need some help then, do you? Well, yes. Sorry, Try Henry. asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Dietrich's arranged everything. May the Lord watch over you. You know, I wish you just told me that earlier, but I guess you just wanted to, you know, make me feel bad, I guess. Hey, bud. Hey. My respects to you. I heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else. Yes. I suppose I do. Why are you looking How all sad? Do you... How do you calm him down? I'm good to him. I've been entrusted by the Lady of Townburg. Now let's do it, but how? Well, I want to treat the horse well too. But I don't know how, because I don't know him as well as you do. Will you help me? Liar! You want to take him away? Leave him alone! I'll be with you. What? Dude. <coughs> Excuse me? I'd like you to show me how to ride a horse. Well, first, let's let him train a little bit. I'd like to practice the basics. All right. 
but it'll cost you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now pay close. Oh, new horsemanship perk available. Hell yeah. What level is our horsemanship? Four. Okay. So we're definitely getting better with this. Let's see. Race horse. What does this do? Your horse is faster but carries less weight. No. Your horse can carry more but is slower. Can't be combined with uh, race horse perk. Speed or care? I think carrying is more important. So, yes. That. One last time. How are you able to handle the horse? I. I'm good to him. Listen, Vashek. I've been entrusted by the Lady of Talmberg. I need you to help me understand how to calm down that roan. Lady Stephanie? Then you know her. She's a good person. She even talked to me once. I know her too. She, she slept, slept with me as well. <laughs> Will you help me with the roan? You have to... S sing him his favorite song. And which one would that be? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there The first one is brown and the second is gray Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's, uh, interesting. Yeah, that's... I know how it looks, but he likes it. Thank you, Vashek. Take care now. You take care, good sir. Oh my god, I just want to read! <laughs> the more I read, the stronger I get. I mean, quite literally, the stronger I get. I mean, our strength is, uh, is pretty insane. Pretty, pretty insane. Alright, so the horse ran up this way. We now know how to tame it. Man, it's already been an hour? What the hell? I feel like I just guys I've already recorded an episode before this one I might just record another one like I'm really feeling it right now like I just I'm really into this game it's just been so fun to do all this side stuff all right we're gonna mount up and we're gonna sing so boy want me to sing in the first horse I've ever serenaded. Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May. Raven. Sometimes his audio freaks out. I don't know why. The town bird. Yeah. Well, still gonna swing me off. Okay, uh, I assume we can't fast travel, so we're just gonna travel all the way back. And then we gotta get two more items. So we gotta get wine and then like a crown or something. We're almost back there. All right, so we just go down this road. this way right yeah or do I need to turn here I think I just go straight yeah that doesn't feel right nope we're going the wrong way I think I was supposed to turn there yeah uh, whatever using roads oh here it is How awesome would it be to just go horseback riding through these woods here And I love I love going on walks in woods like this. So pretty. Are right, we still going the right way? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Just making sure. The huntsman. Huntsman. Nice. Dude, oh my god, what a view this is. Look at this. Yeah. Love this game, dude. Love it. Alright, then we gotta yeah. go up this way. Right? Are we going the wrong way? 
think we're <laughs> I think we're going the wrong way. Yeah. All right. Watch out. Watch out. It's up this way. My bad. And I guess we just kind of put them in the stables here. Aha. Rowan for Lady Step. Yes. Alright guys, since the game saved here, I think it's a good time to end to end this episode. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, doing little side missions and stuff. Uh, we still have to collect two more items for the lady. Um, there's one here. Sasao. We've yet to go to Sasao. 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 Uh, and then we also need to go to Teresa as well. Where else do we have to go? Do we have to go somewhere else? Pretty sure we had to get some. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here and then Rate. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been an absolute blast. And I think I'm going to record the next episode right after I finish this one. So uh, I'll see you in the next episode very soon. Oh.